Alrighty. 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 Now we're going to chop it up about the Kill Switch Chronicles episode 15. Better than expected. This is probably going to be one of the better Kill Switch Chronicles episodes ever. I'm excited to do it. What's up, guys? <sighs> As you know, I had another vehicle out there that did not have the kill switch. And once again, I had to involve the police to get it back. And as you saw, it wasn't filthy. It wasn't destroyed. The check engine's lights were not on. I, I'm like, I'm excited. I'm excited. This guy spent $4,500 on this vehicle before he became late. And this is something that I've been seeing. It happens quite a bit. Like I have a long-term renter and then they'll get late and they'll get way, way behind. So typically and this car is the Range Rover and it didn't have the GPS kill switch. We'll be working on that tomorrow or Tuesday because he did drive the shit out of it. It needs new front tires because the belts were showing. And typically, you know, because he wasn't paying, that's why he didn't contact me about it because he wasn't paying. He knew I would take the vehicle back. But I think we've turned the corner because this is the only vehicle that I've had that I got back that wasn't destroyed. I mean, there's not a dent, there's not a mark other than the tires, which to me, I, I'm going to consider the tires normal wear and tear. And the tires are going to cost me $120 a piece. So that's $250 out of $4,500. I can live with it. Uh, also, he was renting this vehicle when it was on the premium protection plan. He lost the key. Um, so I'm getting that back. And then I'm getting the gas money back. So I got to get another key, which... I got to pay for, but you know, all in all, this, this is the best recovery I've ever had because I don't have to take it to the shop. I just had to get tires. They got the tires will be coming in tomorrow, get the tires and I can rent and I, then I got to take it to get the GPS kill switch put in. I got one left and then, uh, yeah, that's it. So let me go ahead and fill you guys in. I almost did this as a separate episode, but I figure I'll put it in this one. I turned off one of my kill switches and it didn't work. Let me say this again. Long-term renter. Now the kill switch aspect didn't work because I turned the car off and then I saw GPS. The GPS thing was still working because they're two independent little systems, right? So they were all over your, I'm like, wait a minute, I turned this car off. And then I pulled up on them like Debo and do like look at that window like oh shit and actually they paid up they actually paid up so what I feel about the car rental business is I'm starting to get my head and shoulders around the car rental business I'm starting to understand it because at the moment I have four wrecked cars two cars in the shop three cars in the shop four wrecked cars three cars in the shop one car unrented so seven I've got 22 23 cars rented out and I'm seeing that that that's kind of common, you know, where I would get the bulk of them rented out, but not everything. And also I got like, let's go ahead and talk about this. You saw it in the community page, this dude who wrecked this car. I'm working on the claims process and my goal is I'm going to sell that car. I'm not going to fix it. We're looking at like $6,000 to fix it. it. It needs a lot of work because he drove the shit out of it. 
tires. I had the tires replaced. It needs a new radiator. Uh, it needs brakes. It needs a new strut. Even though you drive the car, it's fine. The car seems to drive well. But that strut got blown out. The radiator got dented. And I'm just going to sell it. The car cost me 8100 The car made about four. So if I could sell this car for four, I break even on it. I break even on it. Because one of the things I'm doing is I noticed that I'm having attrition. I'm losing cars. And it, it's like, okay. And once again, I've made the decision that I'm going to work on utilization, getting most of my cars pushed out. I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to buy any more cars until next year. And then, you know, get the Mac Daddy Autos credit card paid off and stack some cash in the operating account. And for you guys in the corporate papers, man, I got some good stuff coming. I might do it today. We're having a, a lot. We're having a live training today in about two and a half hours. I don't know when this one's going to drop, but um, I may get into that today because having a holding company gives you so many options, so many options. But yeah, I'm actually kind of happy because, you know, I had to fill out the police report. I had to send the demand letter. Because dude would not bring the car back. And this is what's so wild about it. And this is not the first time this happened. Instead of bringing the car back, he just left it somewhere with the key in it. I don't know what is up with people. Just bring it back. Just bring it back. It cost me like a $170 for the towing fee. I don't know. But Monday, that gets the GPS kill switch. And once again... These GPS kill switches are not infallible. I knew where the car was, but I couldn't turn it off. So that kind of sucked. But let's kind of talk about where I'm going with the car rental business. I am no longer on Turo, and I'm probably not going to get back on Turo. Now, I'm going to take October, November, and December to work on utilization, to get the cars out. Because cars sitting back with me and making no money. Uh, October 26th, I'm getting the Mercedes fixed. Um, I'm probably going to sell a Camry. I'm going to sell a Camry and I'm going to sell the BMW. And then I got one Camry that's probably going to be totaled out because I've been calling them and they've not responded. So I, I don't know what's going on with that. But by October, I should have 27 cars, 27 cars. I'm thinking 31 sell. Yeah. No, I would have 28 cars. And once again, I'm not going to stop. But one of the things is also uh, I've been doing remote pickups. That has been working out very, very well, because oh, if you were on the other live stream the other day, I did it. I had like three. Boom, boom, boom. And it's kind of funny. Like if I was sitting there waiting, would they all came like that? I don't know. But I've been doing remote pickups. I've been doing remote drop-offs. And it's been working beautifully. And it's like freed me up. So like, what's, what, like the October, November, December, I am going to learn how to run this business. Because the repairs have really stopped. And I got to do that video. I got to do that video. Um, the repairs have w come way down because I remember one point I had 14 cars in the shop between tires, um, tune ups, uh, just getting stuff fixed. And also I have some information. Like I said, I'm gonna do it in a separate video. But yeah, man, it's getting it's starting to get better. It's starting to get more comfortable. It's starting to get like I'm handling it better. I'm handling it much better. And the Range Rover cost me 15,000 and it's made 4,500 minus getting a key to tires that's gonna put us back at about, well, I'm getting almost 400 from hire car. So that's gonna cover some of that. So I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. Um, just throw some tires on it, throw a GPS kill switch in it and then push it out. I'm gonna keep it because 
I feel happy. I mean, I don't know if you can see a smile on my face, but I feel happy that I actually got my vehicle back and it wasn't destroyed. It wasn't destroyed. There's a correlation between payment and destroying. And there, there are people who will, won't pay, will ignore my messages. And like I said, I've got GPS kill switches on 25 cars and I got one more Range Rover out. I gotta get that. I don't know when that one's coming back, but she's paying. So we're going to see what happens in November and December with my fleet. Because once again, I wanna get all my titles. I wanna get all that. And then get these issues with these wrecked cars resolved. Because when I got that car back, and he told me it had a bad tire. We were having this conversation. He did not mention the kidney grill was missing. He didn't mention that the rear end was hit. He didn't mention none of that. It's just a bad tire. And once again, I made off of him $2,200. Then I had another long term, kind of long term renter, $700. And then the girl had it for three. So this car has made about 3500 and it cost me 8100 so if i could sell it for 4000 i'm gonna consider that a win and i'm gonna be honest i'm just like hey it needs a new radiator you, you gotta do this and this and i'm gonna sell it and i'm gonna put those up on craigslist and facebook marketing place on facebook marketing place i've been moving a lot of stuff and it, you know this is really interesting i got a bedroom set for sale because Next week, what doesn't sell Wednesday, I'm having some movers come pick it up. Washer and dryer, because I don't need a washer and dryer. Second bedroom set, treadmill. Today, I got to go out and get a storage unit. And I'm just going to store this stuff in the storage unit. And one couch in my living room, I'm probably going to have it put in the storage unit. And then um, that's it. And then everything else I have, because I've been selling stuff and getting rid of stuff, everything else I can move in. My master bedroom set, my king size bedroom set, that's going. I'm getting rid of, I'm like, man, I'm like a madman. Every day I'm getting rid of stuff. I'm getting rid of stuff, I'm getting rid of stuff. And also I feel that this is gonna be a really positive change for me. I just kinda, I got a feeling that this is probably one of the best moves that I made. Because like I said, we're in a global reset, my dudes and dudesettes. And every day I see new homeless people in Sandy Springs. And recently, you know, what I showed you, that's a friend of a friend that got her home invaded and had a gun put to her head. So I really anticipate and expect more stuff like that to go down. I really expect a lot of this stuff to go down and this is why I'm moving. But also guys, we're about to get into some serious training. Like once I get this move done, because like I've already solved the issues with the car rental business. My, my last hurdle is utilization. I want to get 100% utilization. So actually, I can rent that Range Rover out for less because I only owe like, there's only 11,000 more to be recouped. So I can rent it out for less and that's what I may do. It just depends. Just depends. But uh, I got someone who wants to buy the Porsche. He, he's in it. He loves it. He's paying. So I'm getting ready to reset because once again, I'm going to study the industry and I'm going to let what happens happens with these wrecked cars. Because, man, when a car is wrecked, you're looking at minimum one month to three months for them to get you a check. And the other day, I did get a claims check for the BMW. And this, this, this is the thing, like the claims suck. Like I really wish if my renters get in an accident, they get hit by someone. This is what happened with the Mercedes. He was hit by someone else. And I'm a, a shout out to USAA. They have their own shops. I'm going to get that resolved before the Camrys. I got a drop because essentially they got a shop. They're going to pay for it. I drop it off to the shop. They're going to fix it. They're going to do everything. And I'll get that car back in the fleet by November. Um, and then I should get this thing resolved with the Camry. Um, 
this month. And once again, you know, I'm, I'm about to sell and I'm not going to take that money and buy another car. When I sell a Camry and when I sell the BMW, I'm going to take that money and apply it to the corporate credit card. So I'm not, I'm like I said, I'm not buying any more cars to January and probably to round up the fleet to get it back up to 30 and then just kind of sit and marinate because right now I'm enjoying the business. This is kind of fun now. This is kind of fun. But yeah, this is, these are exciting times because like I said, I, once again, I bought these cars to rent them out. So I'm not emotionally attached to them. And like, you know, I'm pissed off that I cannot rent that car anymore. That sucks. But this is kind of part of the game. This is going to happen if you rent cars. This is just going to be part of the game. So I will probably have a different tactic, a different game plan next year. But like I said, right now, I'm just chilling on buying cars and resolving issues. Right now, I'm about fixing problems, setting things up and making my renters happy. And also, once I start like this will probably be November before I start the uh, credit stuff. But we're going to do that, too. But like I said, I'm happy. I am happy. This car did not come back destroyed. And part of that is, for the most part, he was paying. And I didn't let it get up to 30 days this time. Like I sent the demand letter. He was about a week late. And I feel that's another reason that the car wasn't destroyed because I got it back not terrible, like two weeks after he stopped paying. And also all the other cars that I have, the Range Rover doesn't have a GPS kill switch. Uh, I got an Acura that doesn't have a GPS kill switch. And so I don't have that many cars that don't have, that don't have the GPS kill switch. I don't really have that many and going forward, anything I buy next year, I'm going to slap a GPS kill switch in it. Uh, once again, you know, th this is just, I learned the tactic of rolling up on people like Debo. Like they paid right up when I rolled up like Debo. <laughs> it was kind of funny. So I'm going to stick with this car rental business. Like you guys in the corporate papers, you're going to love what, what's going to happen because I'm going to talk about that. But guys, the rental car business is getting better. And this is, Let's see, May, June, July, August, September. This is the sixth month. I've been doing this half a year and I fully expect to get that corporate credit card paid off in November. In December, that'll be just money in the operating account to buy cars in January. So that's all I got for you guys. Once again, uh, let's talk about the corporate papers. I've been so busy with this move and managing the car rental business and stuff. I did not change the price, so you can go ahead and get in the corporate papers and we can start getting some of this training. Also, as you know, I have a current controversy and I'm done. I'm not making, I'm not going on any more shows. That was a mistake. I'm not going to, uh, I, a lot of people who want me to come on the show and they just want to beat me up. They don't want to have fair objective. They just want to beat me up. So I'm not doing any more shows. What I am going to do is what I've been doing all along, creating content, creating videos like this and let them do what they want to do. So look out for more training, look out for more live streams, look out for more stuff. I am not mentioning the name of a certain individual. I'm going to leave it alone and just move on, just move on and do the things I'm doing because also, there's going to be a lot of stuff dropping at the Lost Kings. A lot of stuff dropping at the Lost Kings. So be checking out for that. So that's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next one. You can get into the corporate papers. The link is below. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.